RJ6 Bruce and I'm here with uh, my friend Dob. <laughs> we just arrived at the uh, Lime Bricks. Uh, as far as I know, it's opened in 1875 and closed around World War II time. But then from 1940, apparently, to 55, it was occupied by the MOD for store of ammunition. So there's uh, some brief history about it. I'll put up some more when I do the, uh, the final video and everything like that and upload it. But uh, yeah, so it's not far from Scalford and uh, let's go and take a look. <laughs> I'll just change this angle a little bit. There you go. So they look like BC, BCF huts, didn't they? Hey? They look like British Concrete Federation huts, didn't it? It looks like the same as what was built at um, Beanstalk. Yeah. The web houses. Yep. Wow. Oh. <laughs> this has been on the radar for a little while. Got all, these, all these old tins. Apparently there's other stuff stored in here after this. So... This is probably why you have these. I still feel full. What is it? I don't know what it is. Can't see. Something onions. See that? Onions. <laughs> probably listed all in there. From the original door there. All these tins, huh? Well, full of them. They still got the original windows in. These are a little bit different, dog. Where these connect in the middle? I don't remember seeing that on. What's that? This where it connects in the middle. Oh, wow. I don't remember seeing that on the other ones at Dean Forth and some of the other places we've been to. That's different. Yeah. This one's in the song where it rot away, doesn't it? <laughs> it drops all apart, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, fingers crossed, it won't happen. There's quite a few buildings here, by the looks of it. Well, just looking at that, apparently some of the history, after it was the ammunition, store ammunition, smaller ammunition was not stored here. The other stuff, other stuff was obviously stored in it. It's onions. That one, that, yeah, onions. No, you wouldn't. It's like there's something in it. Yeah. Onions. Onions? Yeah, that's what it says. Look. You can see all these... Look, it says onions. Something onions. Oh, weird. So, stuff was stored in there. There's hundreds of them. Strange, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. This must have been where the... Well, it's just, it goes under the Lime Bricks, which was 1855. It opened, and then obviously the MOD took it over yeah. uh, to store ammunition and stuff, and probably hence why these buildings were put in there. But the brickworks is apparently is further, further down in the woods. Right. So it's just a matter of like uh, going to investigate and seeing what's what. Oh. It's pretty cool though, because it's still quite a bit of the, you know, the building compared to a lot of the others have been in. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Oh. So it's number, building number one. <laughs> yep. They definitely like their onions. Put <laughs> that way. I don't really need the torch, but... So here we go, it's a bit of sticker. Keyboard onions. Egyptian dehydrating industries. Wow. <laughs> Produce of Egypt. Well, these are still all, these are full. Wow. <laughs> hey, Dob. Yeah. That's mad. 
can't believe how many onions I've <laughs> got. Wow. Again, they're those, those braces that obviously pull the two sides together. Wow. <coughs> Surprised this is actually still here, all of this. Just have a quick flash round so there's any writing on, on anything, which I doubt there will be, but compared to a lot of places, this is still pretty clean. And the brickwork. This is not graffitied up loads and loads and loads and loads. I'll leave dog to crack on in there, mate. Hang on. What? Kibbled onions from Egypt. What? Kibbled onions, dehydrated onions from Egypt. That's what it is. You can see better on the canisters here. Yeah. Look. Oh well, I just spotted this here. I nearly went past that. That's on the side of the, of the building. Have a look. Oh dear. Oh. Okay, so it's like it could have been a water tower then. Oh. She's pretty neat. Pipes and everything coming off from here. That looks like an old Lucas Aid bottle. Let's have a look at this. And you've got a side building. Well, it's all private land over there. Have a look through. More onions, hundreds and oh no, hundreds of onions. <laughs> wow. Yep. There's hundreds of there, all still stacked up. Really? All of these are all full. Okay, so let's have a look in this one. I've just been in there. Got to be a way to get in around the other side here. Oh. Glad we came this time actually, because the brambles aren't too bad. Have a look. Oh. There you go. Hundreds and hundreds of onions from back in the day. Look at that. See if it's the same. Yeah, dehydrated onions. So bad, brothers and co. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay. So look, you can still see how it was bricked up inside these BCF huts as well, which is pretty neat. Not seen that before in any of the others. Oh, let's keep on going. Some of the older uh, light fittings up there. Oh, look at that. Let's have a look on there. Some writing. You make out with the maybe they're counting the, the, the onions they had <laughs> on one six. Don't know, 
Don't see anything else on the written on the wall. Oh. That. That's pretty cool. Have a look at these ones. One, two, three. So it's like five, I think. Five huts. More empty onions. Maybe there's a shortage. <laughs> Switch. That's pretty. Some more writing. That doesn't look modern to me. If you can pick that out, it'll be easy with the torch off it. Just the way it's written, it looks old. I don't see any more. I like that that's on here though. That's concrete round and the concrete lintels. There's a Saint Rick number 13 one three C. Thirteen C. It's really peaceful here as well. But... Oh, these windows were like painted as well. <laughs> I can hear a dog crashing around there. <laughs> well, I'm pretty chuffed we come here actually because it's like I say. It's not in bad condition, considering how old it is. There's quite a few bits still here as well. Even if a lot of it is onions. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> There's some nice bits of writing on some of the wall as well. Yeah, there's a few little bits. Post there, going up, uh, just there now. So the original frame. Let's have a come back through. Great shots here. <laughs> Take some good pictures and we'll come back through. So it's that three, four. I've lost count of the buildings. It's just those buildings there. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five lots there. I'm going to push on through. So these are some more buildings through. What I can see. There's a ridge. It looks like another water tower or chimney up there. So maybe this part back here is the old brickworks. Look at this building here first. Strange. <laughs> it's not 
pipe, the toilet. Not sure. One, two. How weird's that? <laughs> it's peculiar. Three. So it's like there's three toilets here. That's what it seems like. No, one. One, two, three, four. Four toilets. Yeah. <laughs> so like that. I see there's bricks and everything all the way around here, so I'm just gonna go through to this section over here. So I'm wondering, you know, was the ammunition stored up back in those buildings? Or was that more than likely where they were sleeping places or whatever? And it was stored. There we go. Uh, let's have a look here first, shall we? This is like what could be the old kilns. Bricks. Have a look. Oh. Fancy with the torch here, so we can zoom in. Can you see that? Hang on, it's all hollowed out under there. Let me come back out of that one. See the old metal post up there. <sighs> More of the this metal post went up there as well. Let's have a look. What was this? Stinks of foxes around here as well. Wow. Well, <laughs> Proper. Let me get up here somehow. Look at these bricks. Look. It's all shiny. And you can see that. All shining on top of the brick. I don't know if that's where metal or something's melted onto the side of the brick or anyone know? Anyone got any answers? They're good to know. These are almost like the kilns where the bricks were cooked in. Right, so there's all that shiny on that on here and there as well. I don't know where to go. <laughs> um, yeah, so I came from a. I tell you what, I've got to go back down here. Whoa. And then round. One of the one of the chimneys. Oh. Long seized up. Oh. 
Okay. Coming up. Well, it's not more. Also, I'm no expert when it comes to doing bricks. But there's a lot going on here. Look at that. I'm presuming. Yeah, all those bricks have got that same shiny feel to it. All caved in. A bit further, nature takes over for that massive tree. Straight in the middle there. Some great history here though. Coming round. And bricks, bricks, and more bricks. Another patch over here. Oh, this looked like it was a could have been a huge chimney. See where it went round and then how it was laid here. So I'm presuming this went up quite high or a lot higher, two or three times the height of what it's shown here. Well, see if there's any writing on the bricks. No, until they're old, it's like how solid they are compared to the ones you got the frog mouth on the ones that you get these days. These are just solid, solid bricks. What's that say? LBO phosphorus. More buildings all at the back here as well. Just go around the side of this. Have a look. Yeah. Uh, they've been doing more bricks in there as well. It's cool. Yeah, there you can see the uh, MOD fencing that was put up. There and there, when it was obviously took over for storing munitions, ammunition. There's a base here as well. For something was here. It still goes back. Have a keep going. It's obviously quite substantial what was here. It's like the graffiti crew got down here. This all looks as though it would have been one big building. It's where I'm standing now from there. All the way around and obviously would have had a roof. Maybe a roof netting or something on top. Go this way. So this is almost like it goes underneath. God, it stinks. It stinks of rabbit and fox. I mean, not even I'm crawling underneath here if I could get under. <laughs> oh no. Okay. I 
There's a building behind here. Which I've just uh, seen. Look at that. Still, it goes back. The fencing as well. Okay, let's cut through here. Oh, not this one. Not sure what was going on here. Almost looks as though it would have gone underground. Who knows, maybe there was an underground part to this. I'm trying to sort of get round in my head where they would have put the stored the ammunition. Whether it was in these buildings. There you go again, look, there's big posts. This huge concrete block. It's a uh, base of more. Ugh. Here it looks like there are more kilns coming down, running off down there. The size of these concrete posts are huge. Wow. And that. And if it's me, let's have a look. that's a railway, see, a railway line. It looks as though it ran across here. I'd love to know if that carried on. So I'm wondering now whether this had a railway, a small railway carriage or sort of something that could come down here to pick up the new munitions. So that's what it looks like, following the line. Oh, that stops there. Whereas on that side, it carries on. So I know maybe there was a small, small thing that pulled munitions down here or even bricks. It's quite interesting though. Let's have a look at this building anyway. <laughs> look at that tree. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. And you've got this building here, which is just Oh. Not sure yet what this would have been. I mean, this is more storage. Little beans. That's sitting good neck. And look at the Big steel girders. So this poor more than likely had two massive like, steel doors on it at some point. Slid across the top. Yeah, you can see the brackets there, so they sort of opened up. Big old here as well. But I didn't know if these were just for sewage or whether it's pipes down there so I'm guessing it's just the sewage. Some old buildings. It's all paths and bases underneath here as well. So there's obviously a lot more here. Some of these. I don't know what that says. Hang on. Proper old. 
I don't know if you've written on it, but this one does. Hold up. Something Dudley Fire Clay 56. Different kind of brick. I'm no brick expert, but it fascinates me. Coming up there in the corner. I don't know what that is? Dear, just sat down. Can't speak out for it. It's a monk jack. Let's go around and see if we can have a look. Big feet. Well, another building here. I think. I can't see anything further back there. Just gonna have a quick look before going to that other building. Right. It looks as though. I mean, look at the size of these posts. See the line. I didn't want no one getting in there. <laughs> At the back, you've got like a ditch. Just want to take a look at this ditch. It's quite substantial, really. It feels like big massive craters like here and then just over the ridge another massive crater at the back there well I'm not going to go any further back I'll just have a quick look over this side I'm wondering if this is where they took the, the clay, dug all around for making the bricks. Because it's quite steep. So on the outside perimeter now of the where the fence line was. There is. What is that? <laughs> oh. Quite have a look at this. <laughs> There's something down there. There's water down in the bottom there. Um, I've got to come back to that other building. Hang on. Let's go and have a look. Oh, I don't want to fall down there. See that? Hello. Hey, on, bear with me. I've got to go and see what it is. Okay. The 
back in the perimeter now. There you go. <laughs> I thought it might have gone underneath. Obviously it doesn't. It's like there's roof tiles on the top, just there. structure there as well. Oh. Very strange. Who knows what this bit was for, I don't know. But I'm still going for where this is where they took out the clay. This is quite steep. I've got to come back up here now. Great. <laughs> Well, right, back up. Oh, flat ground. Oh. Right, so I'm going to go back round to here. Another little building of some sort. The fire here. Chimney flume up there. So maybe this is like where the workers were, were doing the brickyard. Maybe this is their accommodation. I don't know, offices, anything like that. Pesky minions get everywhere. <laughs> there you go, gives you a better idea that how this was barbed wire still up here. Substantial amount. That. And again with a massive ditch all the way around. You didn't want anyone getting in here, the MOD. So yeah, to me. That looks as I've covered enough everything here. So like I say, this place is well off the radar. But definitely worth a, a look round. Quite interesting just mooching round. Two tiers of history, the brickworks, then the MOD taking it over for storage of ammunition. Up until 1955. And then obviously he left. I think I've covered it. Those buildings, those buildings. And so I can see some. I'm not sure if that's where I came from. <laughs> I think that is. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to end it there. <laughs> if it's not, then I'll have to add it all back on to the end. Oh, got a proper sweat on now. Yeah, maybe there was stuff underneath where they could have stored some as well. So there's various pits and that all around here, but there's no way you're getting in them. But um, yeah, that's uh, hot JC Explores. Very hot. <laughs> it's about 14 degrees today, so it's quite quite nice. And uh, yeah, 
of iron brickworks and the uh, MOD storage site of ammunition. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and I'm going to push on to another place now and uh, see what else we can find. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe and I'll catch you on the flip-flop, the pork chop and mustard. Take care, people. Thanks. Bye.